Today is Friday, May 2, 2014. Sunrise this morning was at 5.43 a.m. The sun will set at 7.55 p.m. Length of daylight hours today will be 14 hours, 12 minutes of visible light, 15 hours, 15 minutes. Tomorrow's daylight will persist 2 minutes, 32 seconds longer than today's. The waxing crescent moon, 3.2 days old with 11% illumination, rose at 8.15 a.m. and will set at 11.17 p.m. At noon, the moon will pass above Rutland City at 247,548 miles distant from the center of planet Earth. The moon today will appear within the third zodiacal designation, Gemini, the twins. In 1863, on this day during the Civil War, Confederate General Thomas Stonewall Jackson is accidentally wounded by his own men at Chancellorsville, Virginia. He dies eight days later. In 1519, artist and inventor Leonardo da Vinci dies at Clou, France at age 67. In music history, on this day in 1989, Michael Jackson, wearing a wig and fake mustache, enters a Zales jewelry store in Simi Valley, California. Security finds him suspicious and calls the police, who show up to explain that you shouldn't wear a disguise to a jewelry store. In 1958, Chuck Berry's Carol is released. Oh, Carol. Don't let it steal your heart away. Born today with the son in Taurus, happy birthday American photographer Philippe Halsman, born in 1906. TV kid show host Pinky Lee, born in 1907. And wrestler turned actor Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he's 42 today. Born this day, Taurus, you've once again allowed the animals you love to surround yourself with to get under your skin, which the last time you did that led pretty directly to a lost and wasted morning. Chasing cars, publicly urinating on trees, fire hydrants the sides of buildings, and sniffing strangers inappropriately. You'll definitely want to avoid that scenario today because with the moon in Gemini, there might be the sudden unexpected urge to do something useful with your life. Although since you've avoided that temptation until this morning, you might find yourself being pulled in two directions. So why bother with either? Some sort of buckling down is indicated. You might make significant progress in getting your life together today before noon, but look for it to all fall apart right after lunch. Embrace despair. Despair could possibly be the only friend you have left. You want your objectives to reflect who you really are, which would be desirable if you had any shred of common sense at all. But since it's you we're talking about, you might not want to get your hopes up too high. Under overcast skies in downtown Rutland with a ceiling of 8,000 feet, partly cloudy skies this morning will give way to a 40% chance of occasional rain showers this afternoon with a high temperature predicted to reach 61 degrees on the Fahrenheit scale with west-southwest winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, clearing with a few passing clouds with winds west-southwest 10 to 15 miles per hour and an overnight low of 39 degrees. The pollen count today is high, 10 out of 12. Highest temperature in the U.S. on Wednesday was 100 degrees at Chula Vista, California. Lowest temperature was 6 degrees at Climax, Colorado. Life moves on whether we act as cowards or heroes. Life has no other discipline to impose if we would but realize it than to accept life unquestioningly. Everything we shut our eyes to, everything we run away from, everything we deny, denigrate, or despise serves to defeat us in the end. What seems nasty, painful, evil can become a source of beauty, joy, and strength if faced with an open mind. Every moment is a golden one for him who has the vision to recognize it as such. Henry Miller It's a well-ingrained stereotype that Neanderthal people grunted their way through life as less-than-brilliant club-wielding brutes. A new study published in PLOS One says, It's just not so. Scientists have long theorized that early modern humans had a cognitive advantage, which translated they posited into a better diet, better weapons, and better communications that allowed them to survive when Neanderthals did not some 40,000 years ago. Will Robrooks of the Netherlands Leiden University was one of two researchers who dug through archaeological records looking for research to support the idea of a dim-witted demise, but instead found there's no archaeology to back them up. Adds Dr. Paola Villa of the University of Colorado Museum of Natural History, the evidence for cognitive inferiority simply not there. So why did they die out? Robrex and Villa think the answer is a complex one, but note that interbreeding with modern humans may have produced infertile male offspring. This has been today's Weather Minute. I'm Richard Alcott.